Hi, I'm Zini. Welcome to my channel and my first video. Over the last 10 years, I have collected so many pretty notebooks, journals and sketchbooks to draw, doodle and to keep notes of memories of my life. But I'm not that good in writing or storytelling. So those notebooks were always empty. On the other hand, I love drawing, doodling and painting. But I was too afraid to paint in those sketchbooks because I wanted to fill it with pretty drawings only. So most of my sketchbooks are also empty. As new year is coming, there is always a motivation for a new start. And I made a resolution to fill one of my favorite journal with doodles that describe the events that are happening in my life. That's why the title of this video is My Doodle Diary. I am using this super pretty journal which I purchased from Amanda Rachley, one of my favorite favorite YouTuber. If you are into bullet journaling then you would probably know her. She is the queen of Pujo. Then I am using my micron doodling pens. Now I am starting my doodle diary with doodling all the good and bad events that I have experienced in 2022. My new year started with a bang at classy and fancy Taj Hotel. It was truly unforgettable experience. From luxurious room, lavish dinner, amazing architecture to a quiet evening with an awesome view in our room, everything was truly memorable. We also celebrated anniversary of our beloved friends there. I enjoyed every little second of that trip. Then from January, I started bullet journaling again. I enjoyed going to the nearest park for a walk and then fill my habit tracker and mood tracker while watching the sunrise. It was truly magical. Needless to say that this journal helped me a lot in 2022. I love pizza. Pizza is life. I had pizza on almost every occasion whether it be birthdays, anniversaries, friends get together, good times or sad times. Pizza, ice cream and cakes are my comfort food. In April, I tried something totally new. I redesigned the product packaging for the brand name Sandook. It's a beauty care and a health care brand. So these are the pictures of packaging before and after. I truly love the outcome. I will provide links to these products in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. Then on June 27th, Pinu Bunny started going to the school. It marks the beginning of her new journey and a chance to learn and grow in a new environment. She was very excited at first but started crying as soon as we dropped her. As a parent, watching your daughter going to school was both emotional and bittersweet for both of us. Personally for me, this year was full of self-doubt and confusion. I was torn between whether to work or to be a full-time mom. Then we decided to join YouTube again. But I didn't post anything on my other YouTube channel since two and a half years. So I lost all the momentum there. Losing almost 70,000 subscribers was very heartbreaking for me because I worked really hard for that channel. So what to do next was my biggest question of this year. Our favorite songs of the year are Puttabamma, Baby Shark and Finger Family. If you are enjoying this content so far, then please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and family and subscribe to this channel for more such videos. In January, I was able to refurbish an old closet that belonged to my grandmother-in-law. The process was so rewarding 
and it is a nice way to preserve memories and sentimental values. The end result is beautiful and a functional piece of furniture that we can enjoy for years to come. One evening, we were passing by the bridge. Then I noticed something unusual. I shouted hard to stop the car. Ran over to the bridge. There was absolutely no one. But I was very sure that I saw something which was not right. Then I saw a floating sandals in the river. But I cannot swim, so I panicked and called the police and ambulance. Thank God, by then, two young men came who could swim. They swam towards her as fast as they can and saved her life. I approached to that girl. I could see that she was panicked. I tried my best to comfort her. Police and ambulance came just in time to take care of her. It was a scary and stressful situation, but I'm glad we could act quickly which saved her life. In summer vacation, me and my husband planned a very exciting treasure hunt for these amazing four kids. It was fun and engaging activity. We re-enjoyed our childhood. We also tried to connect with nature and took Pinu Bunny for mountain climbing. Pinu Bunny's favorite activity is watching snails all day long. We celebrated and welcomed cutest Ganpati Bappa this year. Pinu Bunny also enjoyed their stay at our place. In July, Pinu Bunny was hospitalized for having high fever for almost 10 days. Those were the most difficult days of this year. I enjoyed the relaxing experience of quiet trading time at cafe while Pinu Bunny enjoyed Daddy's day out. It was the opportunity to disconnect from distractions of daily life and finally able to read the book which I wanted to finish since very long. In April, we planned a get together of four close friends and it was so emotional and special as we all met after four to five years. On 30th October, my mom went to the roof to see water levels in the tank. She had done this task many times before, but on this particular day, she lost her balance and fell off the roof. In this doodle, her wings represents my dad who acted quickly and wisely in that situation. Thankfully, she didn't have any concussions, head or hip injury, but she suffered from multiple fractures in shoulder bone and ribs. Doctors advised our family to be prepared for a long road of recovery. Despite the challenges, my mom was determined to get better soon. At first, she was unable to move and had to rely on others to help with the basic tasks. But she is a fighter. She worked hard every day to rebuild her strength and mobility. My mom's recovery is a long and a difficult journey. But with love and support from my dad, she is already halfway there for a full recovery. In December, my loving and supportive husband gave me a nudge to take a decision of returning to work. I didn't know what to do next, so I started with a pretty test setup. On my daughter's third birthday, I launched my Instagram account and decided to post there consistently five times a week. I took a new direction and started my journey as a digital illustrator. I'm posting daily doodles on Instagram to make portfolio. Please follow me there if you are interested in cute kawaii drawings. After a lot of thinking and analysis, I'm starting a YouTube channel again. I really enjoyed creating videos in the past. Hopefully, I will get the same love and support of yours as the last time. 
am planning to post two long form videos per month and lots of short reels here on youtube and here is the first page of my doodle diary i love how it turned out i like the idea of storytelling and keeping diary in the form of doodles and i'm so excited to draw my monthly doodle diary from january let me know your views on this type of video in the comment section down below i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video